Welcome to another video for Tipsy Tales. This is a series where I get tipsy and retell you things. Whether that's books, movies, video games, any pop culture, I will get tipsy and I will attempt to talk about them. Accurately. That's a key word, accurately. So today I will be retelling the wonderful tale and adventures of the second generation of Pokemon. But before I get into that, I obviously need to get tipsy. And as always, I must give a disclaimer that I am of legal drinking age and therefore I will be drinking safely with plenty of water, don't worry. And if you're not of legal drinking age, please drink safely and responsibly. And with that, let's get tipsy. So the second generation of Pokemon are gold and silver and they were released uh in 1999 2000 depending on the region for game boy color which i still have to this day by the way now these are set in the region of johto situated the west of kanto region which was in the previous blue and uh red games and three years after those previous games the design of johto was inspired by japan's kanzai and tokai regions thank you previous self for putting in the phonetic pronunciations of words for me. Now the locations uh, in the game include New Bark Town, Cherry Grove City, Violet City, Azalea Town. You get the theme that we're going with here. And most of the cities have one gym leader each, which serves as a boss, as do some of the towns. Now, along with some new items, Pokemon are now able to hold items in this game. More specialized Pokeballs are added as well, uh, which make Pokemon catching a bit easier. A new item called the Poke Gear is introduced, which functions as a watch, map, radio, phone, calculator probably, even though that might that is in the game, but it probably would do it. Allowing the player to call other characters um, who offer their phone number to them. And trainers will call for a rematch uh, and others will call about rid of Pokemon sightings, stuff like that. Now the game introduces three new legendary Pokemon who are all puppies. I've decided. You got edgy electric puppy who drops out of college and joins a band, sous chef fire pup, and the wholesome puppy that can also drown you. In addition, there is the possibility of encountering shiny Pokemon, which have different coloration uh, than normal Pokemon of their species and appear very rarely. We also get two new Pokemon types, Steel and Dark type. With the introduction of Pokemon breeding, Pokemon are assigned to one or two breeding groups. When a male and female Pokemon that share at least one breeding group are left at a Pokemon daycare, they may produce an egg. I feel like I'm talking about like in a health class, about reproduction, and I hate it. But just this, all of this is to show how many new things are added in the second generation compared to the first generation, which you would assume would have all these things, but don't. By the way, the young Pokemon will inherit the species of its mother and moves from its father. So Now, as with previous games, the Pevlayer character receives his first Pokemon from the local Pokemon scientist, Professor, Prof Professor Elm. And you have a choice between a bald seedling who wants to be edgy but just isn't, the little fire teapot who wanted to open his eyes but just couldn't, and a wet dinosaur. Then begins the journey to win the eight gym badges and then challenge the elite four and champion, become the new region's new Pokemon master, it's the same thing. Now opposing him is a mysterious rival, a boy who stole one of the other Pokemon from Professor Elm's laboratory and regularly challenges the play throughout the game. The player then also encounters the villainous Team Rocket, having reunited to seek out their previous leader Giovanni to return the group to their glory days. Eventually the player thwarts Team Rocket once and for all and defeats the Elite Four and becomes, you know, leader of all. The player can then travel the Kanto region uh, from the previous games and challenge the gym owners there, gym owners, gym leaders there, um, discovering how much has changed in those three years between the first generation and the second generation games. And after defeating the Kanto region's gym leaders, the player is allowed to enter the treacherous Mount Silver area, home to very powerful Pokemon. Deep within Mount Silver's caves is Red, the protagonist of Red and Blue, 
when the player can then challenge to the most difficult battle in the game. And then we get to Pokemon Crystal. Now, the setting and story remains largely the same as Pokemon Gold and Silver, uh, awakening the legendary beast, aka the trio puppies, these guys right here, they're adorable, is now required in order to challenge, uh, what? A critique? A critique? Gym leader Morty. After receiving the rainbow wing in Pokemon Gold or Silver from Suicune, mm -hmm, I like when I write notes, uh, will appear at stationary at the Tin Tower. And mythical man, Yusuin, Yusuin, Usin? Yusin? Yusin? Is introduced. His life goal is searching for Suicune and he will battle the player in Cyanwood City to gain Suicune's respect. It's a little weird when you think he's trying to gain the respect of a puppy. Like all he has to do is throw a ball or a frisbee. Maybe some treats here and there. But that's really the difference. Uh, within the Pokemon Crystal game. But that is all that I have for the second generation of Pokemon. Now, I could go into listing all the Pokemon and, you know, these are short, bite-sized videos for a reason. They're enjoyable. Let's, let's enjoy it. Who am I talking to? Oh my goodness. I am failing at being cohesive in my thoughts right now. It's very similar to the first uh, gen, except a lot more features are added to the games, and imagining any of the the modern or current games without those features, bad. Not fun. So if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, hit the subscribe button, all that jazz. Let me know what your favorite Pokemon from the second generation is. I'd like to know. And you know, head on to, over to Patreon because you're gonna get the outtakes if you are one of my patron members. And as always, thank you for watching and keep on shining, storytellers.